I have been in a weird funk these last few days. It's so weird because I started off with such like a strong mindset and I felt really good on Sunday. And then I don't know, once like Monday hit, I lost like all motivation to do anything, I guess. And working towards like building up my future career. I was struggling. I literally was struggling so much to actually like mentally focus and like put myself in the right mindset to want to work. Like, what do I do? Like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, so we're going to spend the next like few days to just try to have a little bit of a reset and get back into that workflow and get back into just having like a good balance between fun play and work yeah i don't know i'm just feeling a bit weird and off but it's fine it happens i'm trying not to be hard on myself because i know that i could have been more productive this week but i wasn't at all but we're gonna just take it easy on ourselves and do the best that we can do for each and every day the best that we can do for that day yeah <laughs> I'm an emotional wreck right now, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I shouldn't be crying right now. <laughs> but I do say to feel your emotions. <laughs> Let yourself feel the emotions. <laughs> because it's important that you allow yourself to feel the emotions that you're feeling so that you can go over them quicker. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to document this experience. <laughs> Because I want to show you guys that life isn't perfect. No one is perfect. Even though I seem happy all the time. Which I am. I'm happy a lot of the time. We can still experience sadness. And experience feelings of overwhelmment. And you know just heavy feelings in general. It's totally normal and it's totally okay that you do feel those feelings. And experience those feelings. <laughs> it is okay. it's hot i'm like i don't know if you guys can tell but my face is dewy and it's because of the sweat yeah i definitely think if you're having like a flat bad day it's very important to show some love and appreciation for yourself perform perform is that the right word i don't know I literally just had the best cold shower. I was literally just dancing and having the best time in the shower. And it was like fully cold. And it gives it's a hot day today, so it felt so good, so fresh. It was so nice. I really enjoyed the in so fun because I was listening to music at the same time and I was just like I was just I was just vibing I guess. This is cute, nice and little intimate little chat so we can have. Yeah. Uh before my camera cut me off yesterday, how rude. <laughs> I wanted to talk a little bit about love languages. It's important that you know what your top two love languages are so that you know you know how you can receive love it's important that we show love and appreciation to ourselves just as much as we show love and appreciation to other people when you're over giving 
and pouring your energy onto other people you're not really leaving anything left for yourself and you feel depleted because you've given so much of yourself to others which is not a bad thing it is not a bad thing to, to give to other people but it's also important to know your limit and to know when to just pause and give that love and energy back to yourself because you literally cannot pour from an empty cup as much as we all want to give and provide for other people it's just not physically possible physically mentally possible to always be giving to others we have to give back to ourselves uh so yeah um <laughs> let's do a little bit of 360 back to love languages is it 360 i don't know 180 back to love languages whatever <laughs> whatever it is figure out what your love language is and do something for yourself every day even if it's five minutes just five minutes even something small to fill up your cup so base it on your love language let's say if it's acts of service uh like what i did yesterday i cooked for myself because i love food <laughs> yeah i just feel like cooking for myself is something i enjoy doing for others so why not do it for myself or if you're a gifts person, go buy yourself a nice little drink. It doesn't have to be anything expensive, nothing grand. It doesn't have to cost a lot of money. Just buy something for yourself. Anything small can be as small as chocolates or something. Something that just makes you happy. And if your love language is physical touch, hug yourself. <laughs> it's a thing. It's not weird to hug yourself. I don't know. Kiss yourself. <laughs> What else is there? That's love languages. Words of affirmation. Say some kind things to yourself. Yeah, just be wary of your inner dialogue and how it is you speak to yourself because that because that will affect how you live your life. Yeah, yeah. Catch yourself when you you start thinking negative things about yourself and other people and question yourself. This is where you really got to start taking accountability for your thoughts and actions. Oh my god, I'm upper lip is sweating. <laughs> Start questioning yourself a little bit more. Why are you experiencing these feelings? Why are you experiencing jealousy? I don't know, sadness, anger. Why? Get into the boop the problem. Why are you experiencing these things? Because it it is a lot deeper than you you think it is, you know. My mouth hurts from like talking too much. It really hurts, like my jaw actually hurts. What do you enjoy doing? What's a relaxing activity you like to do? I know some people like to have a bath. Oh, that'd be nice actually. Going for a swim, going to the beach. Like seriously, if you live near by the beach, go to the freaking beach and have a dip. I don't know, spending some time in the nature also is a good way to just focus. I feel like I love being in nature whenever I feel a bit cluttered inside journaling is also another way to declutter your mind i find that whenever i journal i do feel lighter it has helped me unpack a lot of my inner thoughts because i tend to kind of overthink i didn't realize that about myself until i started journaling i started understanding myself a lot more and yeah it brought me a lot of self-awareness when i journaled so yeah i recommend to start journaling because it's good for you <laughs> We have journaling. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go eat my calls. I'm hungry. I feel like I woke up with a better mindset today. I went to the gym in the morning because I feel like that kind of just sets sets a tone for the day, you know. I just wanted to focus on my workout. And it felt good. It honestly felt so good. I think I need to start doing that more often, going to the gym earlier instead of in the afternoons because I feel like it's something that I can tick off for the day so I can feel good about myself. Knowing that I've gone to the gym, done something for myself, done something for my health, my mental and physical health. So I can just be like, okay, yes, that's done for the day and I feel good. So now I'm ready to just take on the rest of the day and do other things. I don't know, I've been starting off with work in the morning rather than movement i feel like this is dripping is it dripping i'm not sure i'm gonna have to like play around with it but i think i'm going to try to go to the gym in the mornings and then do some work after that and see how i go because once i have my movement in i feel accomplished for the day and then i feel like i'll be mentally ready to 
sit down, focus, and do some work. I feel like that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try that, and I'll get back to you guys and let you know if that actually works for me. This is seriously melting so fast. I cannot keep up. I literally had to put tissue under it because it kept dripping. And I'm like, no, stop dripping. I'm trying to eat you as quick as I can, but I can't keep up with you because you keep melting. Anyways.